Well, Internet Famous is kind of, I got it off a shirt that a t-shirt company saw that says, I'm Internet Famous. And um, to most people it means people who are, fa like there's a saying, you know, in the future, Andy Warhol saying, in the future everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. That saying has been updated for the Internet age with, in the future everybody will be famous to 15 people. And that's sort of the idea of being Internet Famous, is that you have a sort of micro-celebrity, if you will, that you are very well known in maybe a certain small social context because of your online activities. But that fame isn't like your Angelina Jolie or, you know, Bill Clinton or something. It doesn't really translate outside the online sphere. And a lot of the time it's for something very specific, like you're famous because you have a lot of friends on MySpace or because you have a really popular tech blog or a fashion blog or something like that. So it's very located, it's very specific, and it's smaller audiences than you talk about with like large-scale celebrity. One thing that I found find uh, interesting is that um, uh, in the sort of somewhat closed world of the internet, which is sort of funny in and of itself, mm -hmm. um, is, is that uh, a lot of people have really have no idea that someone who is very famous to their group is completely out known, mm -hmm. unknown outside of the group. Uh, do you find that to be the case? Oh, I definitely do. And I think that one of the reasons that I wanted to address this topic at South by Southwest is that there's a lot of people who are luminaries inside the tech world whose every word is, you know, is followed by tons of people who really are not known outside a very small sphere of tech bloggers or just people involved in the tech industry. So you have these people who in some ways are famous in that there's people here at South by who'd be very excited to meet them and who have maybe been really inspired by their words or have gotten a lot of good ideas from things they've had to say, but who aren't necessarily people that anyone outside of the tech world would know. Like if I talked to my mother or one of my friends about them, they would have no idea who they were. So I think that it's important for us to recognize that internet fame, you know, it's it's fun and it's specific, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the ideas that are getting discussed in these sort of elite circles are making it outside of one particular sphere or one particular kind of social milieu. Is there anything destructive or at least negative about internet fame? Well, I think... You know, I'm not somebody who has ever had the experience of really being internet famous, but from people I know who have been, I think that, like anything else, sharing a lot of yourself online carries with it both risks and rewards. So I know that there were a few people who came to the session today who I would consider to be fairly well-known on the internet, to be micro-celebrities. And several of them talked about um, being cyber-stalked or having people sort of like obsessively um, you know, sort of interact with them in a very unpleasant kind of way. And I think that's I think that's one of the dangers. But for me personally, the kind of research that I'm doing is really more focused on the idea of elitism. And does that affect the kind of applications that are getting built or what kind of things do people in the tech world think is normal that isn't really right. and I think totally that was, normal. Right. And I think that's the question I'm more interested yeah. in whether it's like bad for the famous. Yeah. Is it bad for the rest of us yeah. who are Well, I th I think that a lot of the time when people talk about Web 2.0, they talk about it in this very like revolutionary kind of discourse, that it's going to democratize you know, the world, that it's going to liberate people from old ways of thinking, that it's going to be this sort of bottom-up revolution in the way we think about politics, content, like all these different kind of things. And I think that that's tempered somewhat by the fact that a lot of Web 2.0 is done within a very specific kind of small sphere where you have these like internet celebrities and these really popular tech blogs and these sort of applications that are used by a niche group of people that are all seen as like, well, this has a lot of revolutionary potential. Well, maybe, but if it's only being used by 50,000 people, it, does that really translate beyond this really specific sphere of, you know, the high elite of the tech world? 